It's your man Sabir Bay from the show, Sabir Bay Show, sitting with my, with my man Tony Rock. Yes, sir. What's up, man? Yeah, baby. What's going on? Crazy boy. That show was off the hook. Thank you very People much. People. Thank you very in much. In Philly. Thank you. Philadelphia. Man, um, let's let's talk about this for a minute, man. Cause okay. we, we were doing this before the cameras came on. I'm gonna get your opinion, cause I just got KRS one opinion on his Kanye West piece, man. Uh, what well, KRS? What did he say? He was just basically talking about how we shouldn't even down the brother, but. He was basically talking about how cats get so high when you are high in stature. Yeah. You know what I mean? Certain things you just don't do. You know what I mean? Because it's a power and it's leadership. Right. You know what I mean? But I mean, to not down, he was wrong. So, you know, so to down him is to say he was, he was wrong? Like, is that downing him to say he was wrong? He was dead wrong. You think he was wrong? He was absolutely. I, VM, I mean, we all know crazy shit happened to VMAs. You know, D, uh, what's my man? ODB ran up on stage that time, like, who changed for the children? He didn't snatch the mic out of shorty hand, though. Mm -hmm. Kanye interrupted an acceptance speech. To say, Beyonce, not even himself. Beyonce had a better video, best video of all time. It's like, come on, fam, like really? And he knew who to do that to. He knew he wouldn't did that to no rappers. He wouldn't did that to Alicia Keys. He wouldn't did that shit to Pink. He wouldn't did that shit to to Chrisette Michelle. He wouldn't did he skinny little white girl from North Carolina run up on stage, snatch the mic, it's all good. One thing you said, honestly, on that stage, you said, "What a gangster do." Yeah, and he, and he does Against this. Against don't yeah. do that. Yeah, what the you know what don't mean? do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was very, and I didn't even peep that, because I saw, you know, they very, Yeah, watch the footage. He does that, like, he, he says clip. it, and then he goes, looks around. Like, he's look, he actually says it, and he's looking for people to be, like, on his side. He's like, Beyonce had the best video all the time. He looks around, like, like thinking people are going to back him, and then he, he realized they're all staring at him like he's a jackass. He's like, and walks off. Wow. It was that wrong. It was that wrong. Let me ask you this. If you were to talk to him, <laughs> what would you have said to him? If he did it to me? No, I said, what would you, if he talked to you now, like, what would you Oh, I'd be like, yo, fam, well, you know, like, you wilded out. But, I mean, it's all good. I wouldn't keep, now it's over. It's like, it's okay, done, done deal. But, you know, you do something stupid. Your fam's supposed to be there, like, yo, the day you, like, my man, this is my man Keith right here. If I do some crazy shit like that at the VMAs, as soon as I step <laughs> on stage, she's like, yo, yo, son, you ain't have to do that. Like, you, uh -huh. you wilded out. But you my man, so let's, you know, keep it moving. But you was wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, it's, it's wild because now, I've heard, I know you probably heard, what's a guy named David? What's a guy named the Caucasian talk show host Dave Letterman asked him about his mom. Oh no, Jay Leno. Jay Leno asked him what would his mom think. Yeah. And he almost bust out crying because he didn't he didn't realize like millions. I guess he didn't realize millions and millions of people were watching that and was gonna have an opinion about it and be you know bold enough to voice their opinions. And this is what kind. This is yeah. what most deaf said he would have said to what's the, what's the guy's name Jay Leno. Jay Leno. He said my mom told me to kick your ass. That's what she told me. Really? Most deaf is the most raw. Really? That dude is that dude is raw. He said my mama would have told me to kick your ass. You For asking that question? Yeah. For asking that. Okay. Because now I mean you got to look at it, man. And honestly, but it happened in a, in a public forum. Yeah. It happened in a public forum. So anybody in the public eye has a right to speak on it. Jay Leno is a talk show host. You have to talk about pop culture, news, and politics if you're a host of a talk show. So that's pop culture. You got to talk about it. This David Letterman talked about it. Jimmy Kimmel talked about it. You got it. Conan O'Brien talked about it. You got to talk about you gotta it. You got to talk about it. I mean, I'm one too. But my my thing is that listen, I'm in the public eye yeah. when I'm on stage, and yes. people when something happens in the, in the public consciousness in news politics, they come to a comedy show and go, I wonder what he's gonna say about it. You have to address it. You have to. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. It was rude. That's what Jay Z but said. Jay Z the, said it was rude. My right. thing it was the wrong time. I was I, I I can't even say it was the wrong time, but he could have waited till he won an award and got up there and said, Yo. I know Taylor Swift won an award, but Beyonce had the best video of all time. And that's his time to talk. Use your time to talk to say what you want to say. He interrupted her time to talk. And I never heard none of her music. Never seen one of her videos. I didn't even know Me who this chick was. He made until, her now. Yeah. He made her. I didn't know who she the hell she basically, was. Basically, don't be surprised, people, because she might have a movie coming out, a record deal. He might write for her. Oh, really? You know what I mean? He might. You know what I mean? He might right. do it. Right. Now, since we talking about politics, the Obama piece. Which piece? You're a liar. Oh, the dude yelling out, yeah. That, that was, and Jimmy Carter called it. Jimmy Carter said it's racism in politics and it's all starting to show its ugly face because we have a black president now. So nobody did that when George Bush was saying uh, we're looking for weapons of mass destruction and, yeah. we, and we didn't find them. Nobody yeah. yelled out you, you was a lion. Nobody yelled out when Reagan said no new taxes and then raise taxes or was that the first Bush? I'm not exactly sure. Nobody yelled out you're a liar. Yeah. He said my new health care plan is going to do this. You know, said what, what he thought it would, it would do, and the dude yelled out your life. See, the thing is that what I'm watching now, and, and you and everybody else, even myself, have to be very careful of, is that because he's there and what we're doing, it's like we have to be very careful. They're going to attack all of us. They're doing right. Serena Williams. Right. They're right. doing all the football players. But we right. have to be very careful about it, even with these cameras, even what we're saying, right. because they're going to take every little sound bite and Absolutely. run with that and try to embarrass us. But that's us. the... That's the 
that's like the, the uh, I guess it's the blessing and the curse of being yes. a black person in the public eye. You gotta hold yourself to a higher standard. Yeah, that's true. So it's, it's not a bad thing. It's like okay, we know we got micro, micro, we under the microscope, and there's always a microphone trying to pick up something we saying. But you know, just carry yourself. It's, it's, I look at it like it's more, more eyes on you to see you act accordingly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's, if there's gonna be mad cameras on me everywhere I go and mad microphones, then I'm gonna show people how black people are supposed to conduct themselves. You should see some of the white people faces today. Look at everyone. He knows too much. He knows too much. show called Rock Styles, uh, just all about this stuff after the show, behind the scenes, before Man. the show, with the parties, the, the, the travel, the, you know, everything that wow. goes into I've it. seen a piece of that you did, and somebody walked past you, you had the mic in your hand, and you said, you don't supposed to stop, I mean, you don't supposed to walk past, you supposed to stop. Yeah, yeah, seen yeah, that yeah, yeah. You said, you don't supposed to, and she walked past yeah, you. Yeah. Yo, I want. Yo, I would love to be a part of that, man. I gotta be a part of it. We that. shot the pilot already, and uh, now we're just in presentation mode. So, when is it coming out, bruh? Uh, trying to go to the highest bidder, you know? Trying to start the bidding war. If VH1 takes a bite and BET takes a bite, well, then we, now we can play, you know? Well, how can a brother get there? Can I get a job? <laughs> if, if we get it picked up, then you have it. Right now, it's just a pilot. Right now, we just, it's just a meeting. I'm going to shout it with you, man. Shoot. Um, yeah, it, was, it was dope. You got to see yeah, the footage. Man, Keith is in it. Keith, you in it, too? Yeah. In D.C. Oh, we shot some footage in D.C. Gosh, man. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 we like... We family shit. Yeah, we, we, we go all. We, we all family. Yeah. This is this is family right here. You know, we, once you make that connection, you're family. Oh yeah. You know, I know we running up out of time, but um, we got one more show, right? Yeah, another show. On a, Anything like a else you want to share with the cameras, guys? Because this is going to be live too. Man. Uh, this is live. This will be a bait show. It's Tony Rock, your favorite comic, favorite comic. I deserve to be your favorite comic. If I'm not your favorite comic, I want to know why. Shout out to Brooklyn. Yeah, and he's going to be in Philly. At another comedy club. I'm gonna be in Philly at another comedy club as soon as they get the money right because they've never booked me there. But now this man claims they're gonna book me there now Brother. all of a sudden. But I've been trying to get into that club for like 10 years and they never booked me. Listen, so let's keep man, it funky. Let me tell you. If something. they get their money right and make a proper offer, I will be there. Listen, he called me, no lie, all day today and said, he make sure. say, she say. Cut me a check, man, when I get him on, get you in there, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Like 50 said, I don't get, I don't bother myself with he say, she say shit unless he say, she say, she on my dick. <laughs> You're the first hand right here with your man Sabir, with Tony Rock in the studio. I don't know what, you know, I don't want to give a shout out to the club, but um. Backstage at the comedy backstage club. Backstage at the Let's comedy leave club. Let's leave it at that. Right. Right? No doubt. No doubt. Peace. <laughs>